Good afternoon, all my art students out there in COVID-19 land. I'm about to show you guys how to make an origami crane. And you're gonna want to do this very slowly and pause a lot. I'm gonna show you guys how to create a perfect square out of any piece of paper. Uh, cut it without using scissors. A bird just flew through my garage, that was weird. Now remember, you do not have to use a crane. You can use any piece of origami that you want, so long as it's embellished. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to turn just a regular sheet of paper into, a, um, into a, an origami crane. So I just tore, tore this piece of paper out of a notebook, as you can obviously tell, it has the frayed edge. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take off this edge. So I'm just gonna use this length right here. Now we have to make a complete and perfect square. So I'm gonna use this length. So I'm gonna take this length and repeat it on all four sides. The way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna measure it using this piece of paper. So I'm just gonna put one edge of the piece of paper on that red line and come over here and do this. Boop. Then I'm gonna go from this edge to this mark on this edge right here. Just like this. I'm gonna make my mark. Then I'm gonna go on this red line from the edge along the red line till I hit this mark. So I'm gonna take the edge of this paper, put it against the beginning of that red line. I'm gonna go all the way down to that red mark. Now that I have this mark and this mark, I'm gonna use this edge of my paper and create a line. There we go. And then there's my square from here to here and then there to there. And of course, I don't need to cut out those two sides. So, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold along this edge. And I have to make sure my fold is specifically on that edge. Now, if you have a pair of scissors, you can go ahead and use a pair of scissors. But if you don't have a pair of scissors, you can fold it and tear it just like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold it. Now this is the tricky part. So what I like to do is I fold my piece of paper and I control which way it moves like this until I get to that and I try to keep that edge right there and I gently pinch it up. Now this is kind of important to origami because origami is just folding paper. Just making a three-dimensional object out of folded paper. There we go. You might notice I use my fingernails to crease it like this. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fold it back the other direction. Every time you make a fold on a piece of paper, you weaken the fibers of that paper. Thus making it not as strong. So paper is essentially just made of fibers. Now, some people like to just start tearing it like this. Some people like to lick it. Now, of course, I didn't have a video of me licking that piece of paper, but if you lick it, if you lick it, it weakens the fibers and it tears relatively easy. So now I have a blank side and a colored side, and I want you guys to pay attention to both. So I'm gonna go nice and slow to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna fold it like a valley. Now, the technical world is a valley fold. When I did elementary school, we called this a hot dog fold because it looks like a hot dog bun. But make sure your corners match up. You fold it like this. Ta-da! Then you're gonna open it up. I call it a valley fold because it looks like a V, a valley. Just like that. And if you turn it upside down, it's called a mountain fold. I know, same fold, just different ways, different perspectives. All right, so I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna do it the other direction. <laughs> now, if this is your first origami video that you have ever watched ever in your life, a lot of origami videos, they move very fast. And I'm making a conscious effort to move very, very slow. So your piece should look like this. Ta-da, just like that. And then we're gonna turn it upside down. 
Boop. And then instead of going from edge to edge, we're now we're gonna move from corner to corner. By the way, the folds should be pointing towards you. Corner to corner. There we are. And this one is corner to corner. Oh, by the way, I'm opening it back up, going to the other corner to corner. Now, in theory, if you made a perfect square, you might notice, you see that little fold right there? It should actually go to the corner right there. Right there, I'm gonna bring it in really close. So, you see how it doesn't go to the corner? You see that? How it's not perfect? That's because I do not have a perfect square. You might also notice it's right here too. That's okay. Not a big deal. We'll work with it. All right. So I'm turning it to my blank side now. I've turned it into a mountain. Just like this. Yep. Well, I don't want it to a mountain. I want it to a valley. So I'm going to take my fingertip. I'm going to press straight down until it pops up. Pop. Let me do that again for you. So what I'm going to do. Like if I make it like this, it's gonna turn into a triangle. We don't want it to be a triangle, we want it to be a diamond. So I'm gonna go straight down till I press all the way to the table and it pops up. Pop, just like that. Then I'm gonna take these edges, this one and this one. Remember the thing I told you about the middle finger pushing in and doing it like that? Yep, I'm gonna do it right here, pinch and hold. Do it right here, pinch and hold, and we're gonna bring them together. Just like that. I'm gonna hold it and now I'm gonna squish it flat. You might see how it's getting kind of not so great right there. I'm gonna make it nice and pointy. Squish it flat. Squish, squish, squish. Boop. Boop. By the way, this doesn't work unless you use sound effects. It's giving you a heads up. All right, so now what we have, we have a diamond. I call this the diamond. So let me make sure you can see it. All right, this is the diamond right here. Let me show you from all sides. Whenever you look at it from the top, it should make like a letter X, kind of a flat X. When you look at it from the bottom, it's open, but still a flat X. What we're gonna do is we are going to deal with the open edges, not the closed edges, the open edges. So we're gonna take this flap right here. See that flap? We're gonna bring it down where the flap is opening up to us. All right, so here's my flap, it's open. We're gonna have it facing us. We're gonna take this edge right here, this flap, boop a doop a doop a doop a doop boop So I'm gonna take this edge right here, take that edge. I'm gonna fold it over where this edge meets the middle. Like this. Boop. Yep, just like that. And then, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Make sure it's open the open side, this side, fold it over until it meets the middle. There we are. Boop, 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 boop. Well, just like origami, if we do it to one side, we're gonna do it to the other side. Boop. So we're gonna take, make sure, not the closed, no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. This side, that's what we're gonna do, right here. Fold it over to the middle. There we are. I know, exciting. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Take this edge, fold it over to the middle. Oh yeah, exciting stuff. All right, we should have a kite, a kite. These should be able to be flappy. Yep, then we're gonna take this top triangle right here, see this top triangle? We're gonna fold it towards us like this. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then we're gonna take it, we're gonna open it back up, but we're not gonna just stop there. We're gonna take it all the way to the other side. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna do it the other way. We're gonna flap it back to this side. We're gonna flap it back to that side, back and forth, back and forth. What we're doing is this isn't a permanent fold. What we're actually doing is just weakening the fibers because we're gonna need these fibers to be weak for a later fold. All right, now that the top triangle is nice and weak, floppy, 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 flop, 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 flop. I'm gonna open it up. 
Now this is this is the interesting part. This is technically called a uh, a pedal fold. Now I'm going to do this quickly so you can watch, and then I want you to follow along with the next one. So what I'm doing is I want you to notice on my right hand, I'm putting my index finger right there, and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to open it up this way. You might notice I'm keeping my I'm taking my thumb, I'm putting it under here. I'm taking my other finger and I'm holding this down and I'm opening it up. Now it's called a pedal fold because it opens up like the petal of a flower. Now as I begin to open it, these two sides here are going to begin to close. So this is the full motion. So this is where we were at the kite. Open. We're going to open it up like this and it closes just like that. So this is our goal. Let's see if I can get that tip to lay down flat. Come on, tip. All righty. Boop. There we go. That's our goal. So let me show you how do we get to this goal. Let me go back to the kite. Open it up. Now you might notice I keep this finger down. I'm going to use my thumb to pry this open. As I pry it open, as I pry it open, that these two sides are gonna come in like this. And you wanna take your index finger and you're gonna wanna go in here and you're gonna wanna work it out. Cause you, the goal is to make it nice and smooth and flat, just like that. And of course, this is origami. So if we do it to one side, guess what? I know I heard you say it, we do it to the other. So what we have now is we have las piernas the legs on the bottom, and then we have these big solid triangles in the top, and we have this little hidden triangle in the middle. But we're gonna, we're gonna get to that later. Right now, we're gonna focus on these legs, las piernas, right there. So one of these legs is split like this, it's split. See how it's split right there? Well, just like before, remember we made the kite, we're gonna take just this flap, just this flap right here. We're gonna fold it over to the middle. So I'm gonna get in really close to make sure you can see this. Because I wanna make sure you can you can see this. I'm gonna have to put extra weight on my uh, on my thing. All right, so I'm gonna take this edge right here. I'm gonna fold it in just like this. Now you might notice I took my fingernail and I sort of drew a line And of course, I'm gonna do it to the other side. I'm gonna take this flap, this edge right here, I'm gonna match it to the middle right there. There we go. Ta-da! And of course, just like origami, if we do it to one side, we're gonna do it to the other. There we go. Now you might notice, and I wanna emphasize this to you. If you look really, really, really close. Here, let me flip to the other side. You might notice I'm not going all the way to the middle. I'm actually leaving like a teeny tiny little gap there. Now, that's kind of important. It's not super important, but that little gap right there, it's just kind of important. You'll see why later. I'll be like, ah, this is where the gap is important. All right, so what we have here, I'm gonna go ahead and use my fingernail. These are permanent folds, so I'm gonna really squish them down nice and tight. All right, that's what we have right there. Ta-da! So my big fat legs, piernas gordas, turn into piernas flacas, skinny legs. That's what we made, we made some skinny legs. All right, so one of these legs is gonna turn into the head, and the other one is gonna turn into the tail. So let me show you how we're gonna do this. So you might know, remember, these are actually flaps, right? These are actually flaps. We're gonna take it, you might notice, I have the solid part pointing towards me, and I have the legs pointing out that direction. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna open up one of these flaps, right? You might notice I'm holding it with my middle finger right here. I'm gonna take my index finger, I'm gonna put it underneath that leg, 
right? I'm going to pry it up towards me. Pry, pry it up towards me. Yep, there it goes. See that? I'm pulling it up. And as I'm pulling it up, you might notice I have my thumb and my middle finger on the edges and my index finger in the middle. And I'm going to pinch it together like this. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Check that out. Isn't that just awesome? You might notice what I'm doing with my other hand too. I'm going to take it. See how what angle I'm doing? Let me do that again for you one more time. Spread it open. Pe peel it this way. Come on. There we go. I'm going to peel it up like this. I'm going to pinch it off. So it's actually, this is called a reverse fold. It was once like this. Let me move my camera up so you can get a better look. So it was once like this, right? But we're actually reversing it like this. It was once like this. We're reversing it like that. Now I just go ahead and pinch it out. There's one of them. Boop, just like that. Alright, that's one side. In fact, I want it to be more angled up. So I'm going to bring it up just a little bit more. Pinch it off just a little bit more. There we go. There's one side. And of course, just like origami, if you do it to one side. I know I'm beginning to sound repetitive, aren't I? You're like, geez, Mr. West, you're so repetitive. Well, at least I'm predictable. Just like that. Oh, you hear that? I mean, they've been flying those jets all day. Jeez. these into a head and one of them into the tail this can be the head or that can be the head or that can be the tail or that can be the tail but whichever well I'm gonna pull down the wings so what I have right now is I have this guy right and then I'm gonna take these flaps now inside these flaps I have this uh, the hidden triangle the hidden triangle that hidden triangle is gonna turn into the body and these flaps are gonna turn into the wings so I'm gonna take it I'm gonna bring it all the way down now I'm not, I'm gonna sort of tug on it a little to make sure I can bring it all the way down. Usually it stops at these the tips of these triangles right here, that tip and then that tip. Usually you bring it down to those tips here. I'll show you really fast. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if it's in focus, but I'll give it a try. It's like rubbing up against the camera. It's like, blup, there we go. Squeeze it down. And of course I do it to the other side. Pull it down, tug it, tug it, tug it. There we go. All right. There we have it. I still have yet to make my head and tail. So there is, we're almost done. We are so close to being done. So at this point you should be like, oh, Mr. West, I can almost see the origami crane. Well, I'm gonna turn this one into the head and I'm gonna turn this side into the tail. Since this is gonna be the tail, I just leave it alone. I don't do anything. Since this one's gonna be the head, I'm gonna do the same thing I did before when I made the legs, like I did a reverse fold. I open it up, I flip it back, and reverse it back. So what I do is I take my thumb, I pry it in there, and I take my index finger and I peel it down, which was once a fold that looks like this. Whenever I take my thumb and stick it up there and I begin to peel it down, it naturally reverses like that. So which was once like this, begin to peel it down it's now like that and there you have it ladies and gentlemen i know it's exciting the origami crane so i have shown you how to make the crane do not turn in just a plain crane do not turn in just a plain crane embellish it somehow decorate it somehow put something on it that makes it more than a crane. If you so choose to do a crane, you don't have to do a crane if you don't want to. You can do a dinosaur, or you can do a hummingbird, or you can do a beetle, or you can do a TIE fighter, 
or you can do a little Yoda. Yes, I've had little Yodas. Something else besides just a plain folded white piece of paper or any other kind of paper that you choose to do, decorate it somehow. So in my third and final video, I'm gonna decorate the crane that I made and uh, show you how to get that done. All right, thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing your art.